Hey guys, and welcome to Pro Seller Talk. I am your host, John Bullard Sr. Today, I have a special presentation for you. This is a presentation to show you how to set up an Amazon USA seller account. And we're going to get started. How to set up a new USA Amazon seller account. First, you're going to go follow the arrows and you'll go to www.amazon.com. Up top, you'll see the link up there. You can copy and paste that link if you need to. Once you do that, this page is going to pop up. It says create an account. You're gonna put your full name in, an email address, the password, and you're gonna re-enter the password to create your Amazon account. You might get something like this that comes up. This is email address already in use. This means that you already have an Amazon seller account with an uh, Amazon account with them. You could have a buyer's account or you could have a seller's account already. But if you don't and you only have a buyer's account, you can either set up another account or you can add to your seller's account and do a buyer's account. Reason why I do a separate one and I would create a new account with a different email address is for this reason and this reason only. When you have an Amazon buyer's account and seller's account with the same email, the chances of you trying to get something shipped prime are greater. When you can't have it prime going from a seller's account, you can only do it from the buyer's account. So to be able to keep that so that you don't mix them up and ever have that confusion of whether or not you're choosing prime or not, I suggest setting up two accounts, one for seller and one for your buyer's account. Now the seller's account, again, you're gonna to wanna to have a totally separate, different email for it. Once you do that, you're gonna get a verify email address. You're going to go in and to verify your email and it'll give you a code. You enter that here and hit verify. And again, this would be the new email address you set up if it is a seller's account. Now you're ready to set up your Amazon seller account. We're gonna be working today under the first tab, which is business name and address. We will get into the other ones as we go forward here, but the very first thing we're gonna do is set up the business name and address. You want your legal name. Okay guys, so like I said, setting up your Amazon seller account on this page. So we're gonna be working with the business name and address section. For now, we will do the mobile, the charge credit, and the tax information after. You wanna put your legal name, you wanna check the box that says I have read and agreed the terms and conditions of Amazon Service Business Solutions Agreement. You can also go down there and click that um, Amazon Service Business Solutions Agreement if you wanna see what that is. I've already set up an Amazon account before years ago uh, I kind of briefly went through that and looked at it, but pretty basic from where it was before. Next, it's gonna ask you to tell us about your business. You're gonna put your business name, the address of the business, the city and town the business is in. You're gonna click United States if it's in your business is in the US or there's a drop down menu there and you're going to put the zip code. You're going to choose your business display name. Now, when you choose this name, you can choose any name and change it later if you need to. But for the purposes of this, you're just gonna pick a name, choose it, and if it's available, it'll come up and say available on the side of it. If it's not, you'll have to pick a different name. And if you sell your products online, enter your website URL. It's optional, you don't have to do it, but if you have a website, why wouldn't you wanna Put it in there. I don't know if Amazon allows you to put that in there unless it's an Amazon store. So I wouldn't go in and put an actual website in there until you verify that. You're also going to want to select an option to receive a PIN to verify your phone number. I've checked the SMS, which is a text message option. And what you're going to do is put your cell phone number in there. And once you put your cell phone number in there, you're going to get a text message. Uh, when you click text me now, and that'll give you that pin, and you'll be able to take that pin and put that pin in the box provided.
This is setting up your billing method. Once you set, you're going to select your selling plan. I've chosen the professional selling plan, which is the $39.99 a month uh, subscription fee. You can go and do it the other way if you want. I think it's still 99 cents. Don't hold me to that, I'm not sure. But I think it's 99 cents for every item you list and then you have to pay them their fees when you sell it that they normally have, their percentages. Uh, again, you wanna put your card number in. You wanna put the validation, which is the um, year and expiration. And then you wanna put the card holder's name. So whatever that card number is on that card, you want that card number's name to be on that same. And you would mark it right here. And again, as far as the difference between the professional and the 99 cent plan, the professional is gonna give you all of Amazon's benefits. Uh, the buy box when you're able to get it, uh, when your matrix are there and you're able to you know, support the buy box and get, the, get in the rotation. Um, and also their return policy, uh, Amazon will let, let anybody return just about anything. They don't have to have a reason to do it. Um, when it's Amazon um, fulfilled and it's not, the prof professional seller plan, it's a little bit different. So you're gonna wanna have, and again, if, you, if you're selling and you want it to be a business, you wanna go with a professional selling plan because that's going to be the one that you need to set up for a professional business. Setting up your billing method. Again, this is where you're going to view the plans. You already saw that. I've already chose professional selling plans. You're gonna put the card number in, the validation through, and the card holder's name. You're gonna set up your deposit method. Bank location, if it's in the United States, the account holder's name, the routing number, the nine digit routing number, the bank account number, and retype the bank account number again and then hit next. Tell us about your products. You can skip this for now. It's not something that you need to do right now. If you want to do it, you know, you can. Um, do you have a universal product code, a UPC is what they call it. You can put yes if you do, no if you don't. Do you own a brand or do you serve as an agent or represent or a manufacturer of a brand for any of the products you want to sell on Amazon? Um, yes if you do, no if you don't. Check some of the items if you have some of the items that you do. Would you also like to target business buyers by enabling business sellers features? Uh, if, you want, if you want to go after the business um, buyers, then you can check yes. If not, you put no. And how many different products do you plan to list? I would say 101 to 500 or 500 or more because it looks like you're trying to set up a business and it's not just a hobby. That's what my recommendations would be. And then click next. Or you can skip now and go back to it later. Like I said earlier. Again, this is optional. You can skip this for now and do it later if you want, but this is actually the categories you can choose from and some of the things that you can choose, um, different kind of category type products. So you got baby products, you got toys, jewelry, um, sporting goods, uh, collectibles, uh, just all different types of categories and products that you can choose. Again, you can skip it for now and just hit finish. Identifying verification. Uh, before they activate your seller account, they're gonna wanna know how to uh, verify your identity. Again, select a country in which your business is located. If it's located in the United States, you check that. If not, the drop down menu. Once you do that, you will not be able to change the content of this page after you click next. So very important, whatever you choose here, you're not going to be able to change it. Identifying verification, I am the sole owner or a point of contact for this account. Again, you can do the identification information, it could be a passport, it could be a driver's license, and you put the number over to the right in the box provided, the expiration date, the country of issue, your first name, your last name, and date of birth. And then you would hit submit. I am the sole owner or point of contact for this account. Again, this is basically just verifying the information that you did from the page before. And also now it is asking you to upload some information. You have to upload where it says in the first identity documents, you're going to upload your driver's license. You can either take a picture with your phone and send it that way, or you can scan, take a picture and scan it on a scanner 
and then upload the file to where it tells you once you click on the link. You want to put the business address down and you want to, again, the additional documents below is they're asking for a bank account statement and a credit card statement. And they want something that has the address where you're doing business with. So wherever your address that you put for your business address needs to match the business address of where that credit card is and where that bank statement is drawn from. And then hit submit. Then you're gonna get a thank you for sharing your information. And again, you're just basically looking at it and verifying it. Uh, it says you have submitted the following information for uh, ballot verification, excuse me. And then you just look at it, make sure everything matches. And if it does, then you click next and just go. And you're going to wait for verification for email from Amazon. Then you're going to get enabled two-step verification. Once you get the enabled two-step verification, and you'll notice that little flag up there has like a little one next to it. That's just telling me that there's something that needs to be done and I'll show you about that in a minute. So once you click enable two-step verification, you're gonna get this page. And this is where the process is a two-step process. They do it not once, but twice. They double wanna verify. So you're going to get a text message where it says United States, you're going to put a cell phone number in there. Once you put the cell phone number in there, you're going to receive a PIN number. And once you hit send OTP, it's going to send that PIN number to you. It's going to ask you to do, here's where you would put your PIN number in where it says enter the one-time passcode that it gave you. It's usually a six digit verification OTP and you can hit continue. It's going to repeat the process again. And this time you have to use a different cell phone number. You can't use the same cell phone number or it won't work. So again, use a different cell phone number and then send the OTP, you click that. And again, it's going to ask you, um, it's going to send you that PIN number. And once you get that number, you put it in there and get the second verification. Then you're going to get a screen that says almost done. On this screen where it says don't, on the bottom it says don't require OTP on this browser. I just left that alone and put uh, got it, turn on two-step verification and you just click that. And again guys, I haven't set an account up in almost 10 years. So this is the first time I'm act I act actually had to go and set up an account like you guys are setting up to make sure how to do it because everything's changed. It's so much different than it was 10 years ago. So I'm actually doing this right along with you. Now the next screen is gonna say, now you are ready to log into your account. And this is where you log into your Amazon account in the password that you created. You put that password in and then you hit sign in. Once you sign in, remember that little flag up above with the one? Well, that's what this was right here, the tax information. Click on tax information. And your tax information screen will come up and this is about you who will receive income from Amazon or subsidiary, individual or business, whatever it is. If it's a business, you check that. Individual sole proprietorship, you would check individual. For US tax purposes, are you a US person? If you are, yes. If not, no. Then you get the next screen. And this is where it comes down and says tax information. You put your name as shown on your tax return and then your business or trade name. And that could be John Doe, um, Claire's Toys, whatever you want it to be. Then you're going to put down below, you'll see the SSN or ITIN, or there's a drop down where you can put your EIN number and you would put that right in the box where all those X's are and hit continue. And your select language should be English.
After tax information is entered, another screen will pop up to verify information and sign, click preview link, there will be the W9 on the right side. So when you click the preview link, you'll be able to see everything, make sure it all looks the way it's supposed to. Once it's done, it'll be pending, you can exit the interview. Then you're gonna get a screen that says, congratulations, you are now ready to list. In the left-hand corner, it'll say welcome, it'll have your business profile, and it'll show you your services, uh, sell on Amazon. You can see I got professional and fulfilled by Amazon. You can see I'm registered. All right, guys, that's basically the training and how to do step-by-step -step setting up an Amazon USA seller account. If you guys have any more information or want to know more about that, you can contact me on my Facebook groups at a and &E Seller Solution and you, yes. You can also contact us at mitwebinars at gmail.com, support at prosellertalk.com, or www.prosellertalk.com is our website. You can go on, there's many different training webinars on there. Uh, it's a paid membership site, but there are a few you can view for free. And we do also host our podcast there, which you can check out and that is also free. Uh, again, if you're looking for more tips and training, you can go to those things. If there's anything that you want us to do another webinar on, like finding products, suppliers, uh, listing items, keywords, anything like that, please post below this video. And again, guys, it was my pleasure to put this together for you guys. And I wish you nothing but the best and all the success to you. And God bless.